let's talk about virtual breakout rooms. When I'm doing live presentations, one of the best tools I use to get audience involvement is to pair people up. The reason you do this is if you've ever had that situation where you'll look at an audience and ask the question, what questions do you have? Followed by crickets, right? That's not a good feeling. One of the big reasons that happens is because the audience hasn't been conditioned to answering. Pairing people up when they're sitting next to each other is a great way to get them talking and to spur ideas and to make them feel a little more comfortable with raising their hands. The breakout room is the virtual equivalent of pairing people up. In our virtual presentations, we may have specific questions that we've set up and then we'll send people to breakout rooms to answer one of those questions. When they come back, we open the floor up, if you will, to have a total group discussion. I use breakout rooms in almost every presentation I do because it's a great way to stir imagination, get people thinking, get creative. My friend Ed Tate, who's one of the world's best trainers, taught me years ago that the answer is always in the room, but only if you let the audience participate. As a presenter, you don't have to have all the answers on your topic. Sometimes the group has better ideas than you do, but you got to get them involved to do that. The breakout room is a terrific way to spur conversation that can help the entire audience. A quick caveat about using breakout rooms, be explicit in your directions on how people should use those rooms and how they should interact. And what I mean by that is I've seen far too many people staring at a camera, not understanding that they had to push a button to go to their selected breakout room. So let them know that, hey, you're going to see a, a screen pop up. You got to click yes to go to that breakout room. Another idea is to assign a group leader. I've sat in breakout rooms where people talk for literally two or three minutes while the clock is ticking in the background uh, because they wanted to talk about something socially or they can't decide what, you know, what they should do. So you, you got to help them out. Uh, so maybe just say, okay, the person who has the uh, highest letter of the alphabet to begin their last name, you're the leader. Okay, if there's an Adams, a Jones, and a Smith, Adams, you're the group leader. Just make it real quick and simple for them. Otherwise, it's a wasted opportunity. But if you're explicit with your directions on how to use the room, you're going to create a lot more energy for your entire presentation. I look forward to seeing you in tip number 14.